Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM. In today's tutorial, we are going to see why we need post stage user exit for hard delete detection. So, as we know, there are two types of hard delete detection first is direct, and second is consensus. For direct hard delete detection, we need only post landing user exit. However, for consensus hard delete detection, we need both post landing user exit and post stage user exit. In the post landing user exit, we actually populate the landing table by comparing the PR table. That we understand. Then why we need the post stage user exit to detect the hard delete detection. So in order to elaborate or in order to explain the concept why we need the post stage user exit, we need to take the help of the Java code. So I have already compiled the Java code. So let's go through that. So we know that there are two user exit we need to use for the Adelaide detection, particular type uh, called as a consensus. So we have the post landing user exit and post stage user exit. We don't have to worry about the post landing user exit. That is very straightforward where we are actually created user exit by implementing hard delete detection API and then we start the hard delete detection. We should populate the landing table. The most important thing is post stage user exit. Again we have created or we have used the consensus flag update API and which will start the consensus flag update process. Now why we need to update this consensus flag update and what what things we need to update and where we need to update. So that is what we are going to see today. Before going to see uh, actual code uh, of the how the hard delay detection consensus work, we should we need to compile the code provided by the Informatica. You can decompile the code which is available in the mdm uejar There are several decompilers available in the market. You can use any of that. So you will find these are the classes present in the HDD directory. The classes such as consensus, flag update, hard delete detection, HDD metadata, HDD util, and mapping graph link. If you if you are using MDM 10.1 or 10.2, there is already bug present in these classes. So make sure uh, you compile these classes properly before using the user exit. So whenever you first time use, you will face a couple of uh, compilation issues. So make sure you compile the code properly or you can reach out to Informatica team to get it fixed and then you can use the latest jar file. So that way you can, that will be the more appropriate way to do that. So let's go through uh, uh, the post stage user exit and we will walk through what are the things happens during its flow. So one of the stages is we create the object of consensus flag update API by passing the context. Here we are passing user exit context dot gate batch job ID and the staging table name. The staging table name and the context will be available whenever you implement the post stage user exit. So we'll pass that, we'll create the object and then we'll call the start consensus flag update. There are several things happens in this process. So whenever you open that start consensus flag update, we can see the first thing we are doing, we actually checking the HDD setting for the staging table. So what are the custom table we create during the hard delete detection? We actually checking whether the, those, uh, that table is properly populated with the configuration. We go inside this method, check HDD con settings for staging table, we actually create uh, the connection by using the context. Actual context is nothing for it is a DB connection for us. Once we create the statement, by we pass that statement to check metadata for staging table. That means we got the database connection. Now we are going to check the connection, and also we are passing the staging table name on which we are running the hard data uh, hard data detection. So what we are checking the metadata. If you see the check metadata, this is the class provided by the Informatica. So if you see, there are two tables are used: C repos exe hardly detect and C repos table. 
By now we are aware about the C repos table, but this is what we have created the custom table. The custom table name is C underscore repos underscore EXT underscore hard underscore DEL underscore detail. So make sure whenever you create a table, it should match the exactly same name because Informatica using that table name internally. If you create a separate table with a different name, your hard delay detection will not work. So here what we are creating, we are creating the query. We have select row row ID table from the C repos table. We are joining this table based on the row ID table where the HDD enable is one, delta type is one, two, three, and table name is nothing but what are the staging table name we are passing. By this way, we are preparing the query and we are executing the query. And in the result set, we are just checking the row ID setting table. If the result is returning null for this row ID staging table, that will be checked. So we, we got the row ID staging table here and we are setting here. So we are saying if that row ID setting staging table is null, then we are throwing the error HDD or fail HDD metadata check for the staging. That means if something wrong happen, if something is not working in this query, then it will be problem. So make sure this your code is compiled properly for this code. Now, uh, um, assume that we got the row ID staging table, then we are going to check the several things such as check whether the PR table exists, check the empty PRL table, check for the empty landing table. So let's go one by one check. So we are checking the PRL table. PRL table will be created whenever you use the, uh, uh, whenever you actually create the mapping for the staging table with the landing table. So here we are creating the query select count from the user table where table name is what are the given table name that is staging table name underscore PRL. So we are actually creating staging table name for the PRL and we are checking uh, inside the user's table table. So that means whenever you create a table, it makes an entry in the user's table. So we are checking whether that table is present there and if it is empty. So if that count returns, then that means PRL table is present. If count is zero, that means PRL table does not exist. exist. That we check then we we'll check the PR, PR table empty or not here we are just checking the count and that count is nothing but this we are checking the count on the PRL table so if the count if it is written some records then it's fine or if it is not written in red record we are returning PRL table is empty then we are checking the check for empty landing table uh, here is one uh, problem in this code if you see we have the try block and finally block. In Informatica MDM has not written a, a appropriate code. We do not have the cache block here. So even we are throwing the error inside this, that is not never get caught. So, but one thing they have done, they have actually thrown this error. So that phone, that error will be thrown actually in your code. It shows that as your code error. So that is one of the problem. So if they might have captured here, if they have written something here that might have helped to press down the error more appropriately. But that is fine, we are actually handling the error exception by throwing it. Now, uh, next thing is we are checking empty for the landing table. So for checking the uh, empty landing table, there the custom query is built, such as suppose select uh, a dot SQL where clause b dot table name from C repos CL table function map and it is also joining with the C repos map. So it actually using multiple tables to check whether the table is empty or not. And then we are sending row ID target table dot, means we are actually appending the with single code here. We are passing the staging table name. So for that corresponding staging table name, we are finding the landing table name. And we are also checking whether it is empty. Means first we are checking the landing table name. So we'll get the, map where clause and we also get the landing table name after the executing that query and then we are just select uh, preparing the query select count start from that landing table where you can you can add the where clause based on the condition and then we are checking the any count present in the landing table if it is present then it will return the query but uh, these are the checks we do once we're done with this all these checks we are returning result as a true back to uh, 
where the code is getting blocked. For example, this code is the check HTTP call is getting called here, so it will return true or false. If it is very exception error, then it will be false. It will not return true. So we are checking that if the setting is already present, then we will not get error. If the setting is not present, then we will get the error. Cannot process HTTP consensus delete as metadata is not on configured for the staging table. That means something is going wrong. So when I first send did, I come across this situation where the this Informatica provided code itself is not compiled properly. So whenever I compile uh, properly and when I use these classes, these are the standalone classes, so you can use them. There is no inner, uh, any extra dependency. So when I use that, it is working. So I got rid of this error. Now uh, after doing that check, means setting the proper, then we are getting the metadata from that HDD uh, metadata table or the what are the custom table. So what this custom table is, in this also we have prepared one query. This is again the Informatica provided class or the API, the name is consensus flag update. Here we are preparing the query, we are selecting row ID table, uh, then HDD enable, HDD type, HDD delete, uh, uh, sorry, delete flag column name, delete flag value active, value inactive. So if you remember this column we've uh, um, created in this custom table C repos exe hardly detect. We are joining that table with the C repos table and based on the row ID table. We are joining the C repos column C uh, table on the row ID table uh, because we want some columns also. Then we are have the delete flag column also we have the column name plus one to that left we have the left on the left outer join on c repos column uh, with this roi based on the row id table and we are getting the end date column name as a sys date then we are hdd uh, hdd enable one that is very important uh, property of attribute to enable the hard delay detection and then finally we are passing the table name as a station table name and this query, once we prepare this query, we are firing, or we are once we uh, get the statement created, we are executing on that statement, and then we are setting that metadata in the one of our map uh, setter meta uh, class called as the HDD metadata, which is again the Informatica provided class which will set this all these columns and its corresponding values. If these values are not present, we are just returning error. There is no data return on that metadata table. So this is very straightforward method to get the metadata. So we got the metadata, we got the connection. Now what we are going to do, we are going to call HDD util APS get view name provided system. So what we are doing, till now we check the metadata and then we return the metadata. And now we are going to check with the base object table. With the base object table, we have prepared the query select table name and the source so, source raw system from c repos table uh, we are also joining this the c repos table based on the row id parent and row id table by that way we will get the parent row id is joining with the row id table that means we will get the parent in the row id table we are equal to staging table means what we are doing by giving the staging table names row id table name as a row id table name we will get its corresponding Parent. That means it's a corresponding base object. So we'll execute that, and we will set. We'll, once we execute that statement, we'll get the base object name, and we'll also get its a corresponding row ID system. So that is what we are getting from this. So we are getting the row ID system for that base object. Uh, then we are checking the HDD type, and if HDD type is con if it is consensus or not. So make sure you are using the appropriate case in your metadata consensus is in capital case. They are not, Informatica has not checked for the ignore case. So you have to make sure your is upper case. And then we are calling the set consensus like method. This is very important and that is the reason why we need the staging table. In set consensus flag, we are sending the connection, DB connection and the metadata. Metadata, what is it present in our temporary table or the custom table. We are creating the statement update on the staging table where s1 set s1 dot the value is we are getting that from the delete flag and all this corresponding value we are getting 
we are also getting the base object name and its corresponding xref. Now imagine if you are working on the post landing user exit, you will not get the base object name. So in order to work on the xref table, you, you need to have the control. So whenever you load the record from the stage into base object, so there is a, uh, uh, whenever you're done with the post stage, so that record will be already in the xref. On that extra record you can work on. At the stage, at the landing level, you will not have the control on the base object because you are not directly putting the record into the XREP table from the landing. So that is the reason we have the we need to get the control on the XREP and we will get the control on the XREP once we get the base object ID which we saw in the previous step. We have the where clause we are checking the delete flag value column name and it's a uh, whether value is uh, we are putting the value in P. Because if you remember the partial value, nothing but the p value. We are having the joints as a PQ source object. We are joining with the PQ source object from our uh, staging table. And uh, then we are joining on the raw ID object. And there are several steps we, which we don't have to go through because it is already implemented by the informatic. Once, once this code is successfully done, means we are actually setting the flag p in the Excel table. And then it will internally calculate um, which will be the winner uh, base object. Which, uh, if there is any other active, is, uh, any other record is active, then that will be updated in the base object table. That will be determined. So this is the very straightforward code. And after that, there is no any other code is written. So we are by using the post stage user exit, we are actually updating the extra table. It is straightforward updates. No any other API call. It's just DB connection and the update. But it is recommended do not touch manually, but they are, uh, they are actually doing the code, so that is fine. Then we are connect, uh, closing the, all the connections or what are the statements we have in this uh, query. Those will be closed. So this is the code for the hard delay detection. Now you might have got a clear picture why we need to have the post stage user exit for the hard delay detection process. Uh, thank you for watching my video. If you have any other questions about hard delay detection or if you want any support, just let me know. I will be happy to help you. Thank you and have a nice time.